Hello everyone and welcome! I am Eddie and we are playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. So, um, we are building this, uh, this satellite airplane finally. And one thing that I did and I completely forgot about it, I bought uh, two Phoenix cannon for my interceptors. But now I need to uh, load them on the planes. It's gonna take a day for each. So now I just have to hope there are no UFOs uh, coming within 24 hours. Okay, I'm good. And we have a request from Germany. Four security corpses. I have 14. Uh, well, it's not very much money, but I am uh, very low on funds, so I am going to take the offer and dispatch them. Alright, and we're uh, almost finished with our research. And we have access now to a satellite nexus. So that's the upgrade to the satellite uplink. Uh, the uplink allows uh, for two satellites plus one per uh, adjacent uh, uplinks or nexus. And the nexus uh, doubles this with uh, four satellites per nexus. Also plus one per adjacent uh, nexus or uh, uplink. Yeah, here. So we have a floater to interrogate. And that's part of the story missions. So it will advance uh, the plot. And let's do this. Nice cinematic. I'll skip uh, the next one because there are all the interrogation have a cinematic like that, uh, pretty much uh, the same. By the way, there has been a patch since uh, the last time I played. I don't think there is anything specific that will um, affect us in this playthrough. But let's hope uh, some bugs have been resolved. So. Let's scan for activity. Okay, so we have a council mission. So I'm not sure that might be. Uh, yeah, it's a bomb disposal mission. So that's a fun one. So what do we have? Um, we have our heavy lieutenant. Uh, yes, we had um, our um, yes, our sniper is uh, still wounded, unfortunately, and our assault also. So right now we only have those four. We have two heavy uh, support and uh, assault, and yeah, I'd like to get um, at least another sniper. I like my squad to be two sniper, two heavies, and assault and support. So let's hope one of the rookies um, becomes uh, another sniper. So. Uh, as far as armor goes... Okay, we will have enough carapace armor for everybody. So. And we're 
going to give the axe thrower to our uh, assault. Yes. Forgot to change uh, uh, armor deco. Yeah, okay, she's already. Oh, yeah, and we need to give the medic it to. Our medic, that's a better fit. So this rookie is also getting Carapace armor. Oh, that's not a rookie, that's a... Okay, that's a rookie that became a heavy. Um, going to give him a grenade. And uh, that, yeah, she's a heavy. She gets customized ammo. So he gets uh, the med kit. So we have two rookies, and I think I have uh, yeah, I have scopes for both of them. And I think we are ready. Scope, grenade. Okay. Strike one. Prepare for landing. So I think this is the first uh, bomb disposal mission we Brazilian were doing. Have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish primary. I don't think I can um, cancel oh, their uh, the their speaking. The the aliens are I already know all that. To the bomb itself. Disabling this power mode should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. We have a new objective. Okay, so we need to find and deactivate a bomb. We have uh, three turns until it is charged. But every time we come near one of those uh, nodes, uh, we can add a turn to the charging time. And this is a training yard map. I don't really like it. So. First, going to go here to full cover and see what's up. Eyes on target. Okay, so a thin man. I also have a shot from here. An okay shot also. So I'm going to move um, I'm going to move him here. Yeah, and he has a uh, hollow targeting so I'll have him fire first. Okay. So the other one is a bit further. And that's a nice spot, nice high cover spot. We have a high 
high cover spot uh, here also. So these are my two rookies. Okay, he's too far away. So he doesn't have a shot. He probably won't have a shot from here also. And I don't really want to put him in health cover. Still going to move him here. He's coming here and watch him, watching their backs. So we have two shots here. Yeah, two not very good shots. I'm just going to overwatch everybody. And that's the problem with uh, Tin Men. They can just poison you. actually uh, flunk him from here. Yeah. Unfortunately that was not enough. Flanking. Oh, he destroyed um, my heavy destroyed the cover. Uh, the sin man was hiding behind. So I'm going to get my assault here first. Why did slow the charging process of the alien weapon? Was that a dash? I guess it must have been a dash and I didn't see it. It's strange. And what you see here? Let's deactivate the power node. It seems you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry. So I, I, I wanted uh, the assault to fire on the on the scene man so that the um, medic could heal the poison. But I first need to kill the thin man. So let's try with the with the rookie first. Seventy-five. Nope. Oh, and he does have line of sight here. I should have tried him first.
And now I can heal. Yes, yeah, salt, and I cure the poison. Okay, so... We have two visible nodes, three, oh no, a lot of visible nodes, sorry. But I need to be careful um, in what, uh, in where I go. And um, basically I don't want to activate uh, too many alien groups at the time. So here we seem to be okay. As long as you deactivate uh, another turn, you don't need to try and go too fast. And usually there are enough nodes. Uh, enough nodes for you to be cautious in how you move. Oh yes, I'm first going to go this way, I think. There are quite a few nodes uh, close by, and I have less chance to activate a group. Okay, so another couple of thin men. But they are quite far away. So now I need to be careful uh, with alien coming from this direction. And unfortunately, they have a. I think I think they are going to have a shot through this um, this train to my um, to my support, and he might only be under half cover here. I might want to move in here, but then I might activate uh, another group of alien. That's a bit dangerous. So here should be safe from them. My heavy. This one's going to get here. My sword is going to too dangerous to get him uh, that close. He's going to come here and try and prevent uh, Thin Man to go around. 
here and flank us, just in case. And we have this one too. Just going to come here. So now the um, dilemma is do I leave him here or do I have do I hide him? I think I'm going to hide him here. I don't want to go too far this way. I don't want to activate anybody else. But I don't want to leave him with uh, un under half cover against uh, two thin men. Okay, so only one of them was able to fire. Problem is the other one might be on Overwatch. And he's behind uh, a pot here, so even if I were to come here, he'd still be in full cover. Okay, so this is the end of the map. We're going to move him here, and if I activate anybody else, I'll back off and hide behind my heavies here. But that's okay. So, yes, he still is under uh, full cover. Both my heavies are too far away to be any help right now. I'm actually going to dash this one. I'm actually just going to move very slowly and make sure everybody is on overwatch so that I can intercept uh, any sin man that tries to come closer and he's going to get there that's only uh, half cover but he's protected by this uh, whatever this is and but he'll be able to intercept if uh, Sinman tries to get around to us. Yeah, so this one I'm not going to move him. I 
at him. Okay, he's going to get here. So let's try and maybe even if he misses. Ah no, he's not hiding behind boxes. Yeah, so I won't be able to destroy uh, this cover with just uh, these guns. But I still can hit him. Okay. There are still the others in mine uh, who's somewhere around, but I don't know exactly where. And I'm still not seeing it. It's the problem with this map. Uh, it's very hard to get a good line of sight to your target. I could actually dash Hiromaze with my assault, but uh, could be very dangerous. I'm going to move my rookie here. Yeah, and he still doesn't see the other uh, thin man. Ah yeah, I think the yeah, the poison is giving him a penalty to to hit. And once again, I forgot to fire first with my holo targeting uh, heavy. So from here, uh, my heavy should actually be in cover. for dying so now he's going to get here That is a problem, it's probably a dead rookie. Oh no, thanks to... Yeah, thanks to the Carapass Armor. They can survive uh, even a big hit from a, from a Sin Man. Okay, so he's not... Normally if I come here, he should be flanking. 
Alright, 100%, 40% critical. Oops. And he'd be able to come here and finish him. Okay, good. So that's two groups of sin men we eliminated. And we're going to finish this mission in uh, the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, comments, or just want to say hi, feel free to post a comment. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. To see more of the videos, uh, check my channel and subscribe. Thank you, and see you later.